unicorn buns. You guys like them? Hey guys, it's Winji. Welcome back, and it's my favorite time of the week. Summer hugs! So today I'm back with another 10 summer DIYs and hacks that you guys can do. I did a bunch last year that you guys absolutely loved, so I'm back with some more amazing ones. Some of my favorites I wanted to share with you guys. But hold up, if you guys aren't part of the fam yet here already, I encourage you guys to join. Click the subscribe button and join the Winji Clones fam because I love you guys so much and welcome if you're new. As if you are part of the fam, you'll be automatically entered into the current MacBook Air giveaway. And the only one other thing you need to do apart from being part of this wonderful family is to be subscribed to my second channel, Reactive Corns. So don't forget to check the link down below and subscribe there. And that is literally all you need to do to be entered. So good luck everyone. Let's get this video to like, hmm. 138,000 thumbs up. That would literally be amazing. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Let's go. I'm trying, written down the words to say. It is time. I've been waiting five days. I love going to the beach in summer, but no matter how hard I try to get all the sand out of my stuff, somehow I always bring it home with me. Like even weeks later, I don't even know how it's still there. But recently, I got this mesh tote bag, which is amazing. Not only does it look super cute, but the gaps in the bag let the sand slip right through it. So now you can pack up all your stuff without worrying, and as you walk, the bag will automatically clean itself. I always forget that after a few hours in the sun, your car steering wheel gets really hot, like it actually feels like it burns your skin. But a genius hack to avoid this in the future is actually just to turn your steering wheel upside down before you leave the car. By the time you get back, the bottom will be scorching hot as usual, but the top when you turn it back will be nice and cool. And this is the part you normally drive with, so it is awesome. Some of you guys might know this hack already, but this is new to me and I love it. The best way to bring an ice cold drink out is to fill a water bottle halfway with water and then freeze it on its side. That way when you're ready to go, just fill up the bottle with water using the gap in the opening. The large surface area of the ice will allow your water to cool down much quicker. This will give you a refreshing cold drink ready to go instead of a bottle full of ice and only a tiny amount of water, which used to happen to me all the time and I ended up smashing my water bottle against like a hard surface to break the ice, but that's really not great for your bottle. So this is awesome. So summer equals yummy fruit, which also unfortunately equals fruit flies. Like I swear I have a family of fruit flies living in my basement and whenever I eat fruit they're like, it's feeding time guys. But an awesome way to keep them contained is actually with fruit. That's right, using their beloved fruit against them. Just take any fruit scraps and put them in a jar and then seal the top with some cling wrap. Poke a few holes in the top of the cling wrap and then just let it sit there. The fruit flies will be attracted to the smell and will squeeze through in the gaps but won't be able to get back out. Then you can just dispose of the jar once you've cleared out the flies. Do you remember the feeling? I've still got it all figured out what I do this right There's a doubt in the Sunscreen is super important when you're spending time out in the sun, but sometimes you still might get sunburned if you're out for too long or miss a spot. A super useful hack for sunburn is to freeze some aloe vera cubes beforehand. It all goes away, the things I plan, the things I want. Then pop a few out and then wrap them in a hand towel and apply it to the burnt area. Make sure you don't apply the ice cubes directly to your skin. The cold ice cubes will soothe your skin and the aloe vera is a great treatment for sunburn and this will slowly seep through the towel as it melts, keeping it nice and clean and you don't get a huge melting mess. I don't wanna be the girl, but I kinda need a word when I'm into you. And all I know 
Staying cool in summer is important for a good night's rest. But sometimes the heat will leave you tossing and turning and sweating all night. Cotton sheets don't help either because they tend to retain heat. So instead, try some satin sheets in summer. They're much more cooling on your skin and you'll sleep like a baby. Oh, they feel amazing as well and they're actually great for your skin and super anti-aging because they don't pull at your skin at night. I love the feeling of sand on my feet, but I don't like the hassle of getting wet sand off. It actually feels like it takes forever, and for some reason wet sand just doesn't let go. A cool hack that I never knew for this is to use baby powder. I know it seems a little strange, but baby powder actually absorbs all the water from the wet sand, and this helps it become dry and flaky so it rubs off super easy. You remember I told ya that I had found a way to make my day. This quick and simple hack is so useful in summer. Instead of adding ice cubes into your water, just use some frozen fruit. This cools your drink down and also slowly infuses your water with fruity goodness. This is so simple and easy and delicious and you can eat the fruit after. And guys, it tastes so good. Like, you have no idea how awesome this is, so you have to try it. I love summer, but what really bugs me are ants. Ha, <laughs> get it? Bugs? <laughs> Anyways, they always seem to make it into the house even when there isn't any food lying around, which can get pretty annoying. There are heaps of ant sprays around, but a natural ant repellent is coffee grounds. Just store all your used coffee in a Ziploc bag and then sprinkle it around any obvious ants nests and also around entrances to your home like doorways or gaps near windows. It keeps your home ant free during summer and also saves you some money. So it's chemical free which is a thumbs up in my book. I love just chilling and lying down on the beach, but I don't know if any of you guys have this problem or if it's just me, but there's nothing to put my head on, and sometimes I end up using my bag, which squashes everything inside. Lying completely flat is not only uncomfortable, it makes the blood rush to my head, so usually I put my bag underneath my beach towel, and this literally squashes everything inside, which is not great. But I found out you could DIY your own personal beach towel with a pillow. All you need are two beach towels, a memory foam pillow, and a sewing kit. First, choose a size for your pillow. I wanted a more portable one so I could fit it in my bag, so I ended up cutting the memory foam to a smaller size, using my bag as a reference guide so I knew it would fit well into my bag. a section of the second beach towel to make a pocket for my pillow or you can use a tea towel or another small piece of fabric that just covers the pillow. Sew this pocket onto the bottom of your first towel leaving one end open and then slip your pillow in. I love this because the memory foam is so comfortable and now I can relax on the beach in style. I hope you guys did and if you guys try out any of these hacks or DIYs don't forget to hashtag me on hashtag Wijicorns and what did we get up to on Reacticorns this week? Let's have a look. <laughs> Make great Lego afros. <laughs> oh so good. Look how scared that baby looks. It's like ah. So it's come to that time where I have to say goodbye so I'll miss you guys so 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 much. Bye. Love you. <laughs>